I'll never forget that first email I got from a jury. It was from their partnership team and they were looking for me to be part of the fine crew and I was so excited. If you don't know what the fine crew is, it's basically Majuri's affiliate program. So they send you pieces for you to post content about on your channels and then you give your followers a discount code to be able to shop anything on the Majuri site really. The great part about it is that you do get a commission as the creator who referred someone to the Majuri store. The first email I got from them, I remember exactly where I was. I was sitting in my office. I was a marketing manager for a software for a company at the time and I was over the moon excited. It had to have been one of my first partnerships, if not my first. And I remember really working hard on my social media and then having Majuri reach out and ask me if I wanted to collaborate on some content with them was a dream come true. It was a blue stone pendant. You could pick from three pieces and I chose the one that had the blue stone. I had it for so long, but I actually got some of my Majuri pieces stolen recently, unfortunately. So. I don't have that one anymore, but it held a very special place in my jewelry collection because it was my first piece that Majuri ever sent me. What I love so much about being part of the fine crew is not just the pieces that they send you, which is an amazing perk, but I've been able to make some online and real life friends through the Majuri fine crew. It's this amazing group of creative, driven, and talented women, and a lot of them are here in Toronto. So I connected with a lot of these women through social, but also Majuri had some really, really fun events before COVID hit. We did a dinner, there was like a shopping event, so they were always trying to foster the sense of community, which I really appreciate. I think that brings the crew to a whole new level and really adds this amazing component to it. They also had a Facebook group for a while. I don't think that they're doing it that much anymore, but I was connecting with a lot of women through that. So that was really fun. Ever since I started working from them back in 2018, up until today, I'm still a huge fan of Majuri. I absolutely love their pieces. I think they hit the nail on the head every time with their styles. They're so on trend, but they also really create pieces that are timeless. And these pieces that I'm about to show you are ones that I've had for years and years and I still keep wearing them. And I think that's just a testament to how well thought out their styles are and their quality. I mean, there are a few pieces that have started to tarnish just a little bit or maybe not to tarnish, but discolor, but I think at the price point that you're getting, you're not gonna get a solid gold piece and there will be some wear and tear. But this is definitely only on the gold vermeil pieces which are different than solid gold or gold filled jewelry. And I have a video that I'm going to link here for you guys to find out more about the difference between gold vermeil and solid gold. But I do think that whether you're getting a solid gold piece or a gold vermeil piece from a jury, you're going to get incredible value for what you're paying for. Whether it's a solid gold piece or a gold vermeil piece, the price points are going to differ and you're going to pay less for gold for May and more for solid gold but the solid gold is going to last you for years and years and then the gold for May although it won't last you for quite as long I do find that my pieces have held up pretty well it also makes me so happy to be able to support a local brand. Being from Toronto and seeing this amazing Toronto brand coming up in the fashion space, how could I not support them? Although they kind of feel like they're this huge brand now, I still feel like if I get anything from a jury, I'm supporting local, so that makes me happy. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys everything in my Majuri collection. So let's start with the pieces that I'm wearing now. The herringbone necklace is my absolute staple. And then I also have the herringbone bracelet. And then I have this stacking ring that looks like it's two, but it's actually one right here. So you can see it's connected here at the back. Pretty cool. Majuri has really started to embrace the chunky style more than ever before. They used to be super into dainty jewelry, but I think they've really adapted well with the times and seen that people are really into that chunky 80s style again. So they're slowly incorporating more of those pieces into their arsenal while keeping the dainty pieces as their staple that everyone knows them for. And then I'm wearing the editor hoops. These are my OGs. They have been with me since day one and I love them so much. I wear them all the time and I probably said this in another video, but they really can take you from day to night, from office to party so easily. And I can also wear them like going out with friends or shopping or doing anything active. I know there are some hoops that you really feel like 
I don't want to go out and do crazy things in these because they're too much but these ones are just the perfect piece to make you feel elevated but also won't get in the way of doing whatever you want to do in your day this necklace I like to call my Karen Smith necklace if any of you guys understand that reference it is Karen Smith from Mean Girls she didn't know how to put her K on her when she was going out for Halloween I without fail every time I put on this necklace think am I putting the S on the right way what I like about this necklace is that it allows for layering I find that a lot of the necklaces that I have are shorter because that's been the style but it's nice to have a little bit of the balance and switch it up so this one is a longer chain and it has the S switch is for Susan and then I have this box chain necklace it is 14 karat gold and it's just the perfect piece for layering with other necklaces and you can also just wear it alone what I love about it is that it's solid gold so I can put it in the water I can swim with it run with it whatever it is and not have to worry about it tarnishing this was one of those things that when Majuri was like do you want this piece for our next campaign I thought and eh, like I'm used to having like more fun pieces and I was like I really want like some fun chunky hoops or something but then I thought no this is a really good investment to have because you can just wear it for the rest of your life it's just a gold chain so if you're looking for one of these this one is a good option next I'm wearing the cigar band again I am pretty sure that Majuri started making pieces like these because they thought okay chunky rings and chunky jewelry is coming in so let's hop on this train and so this is one of those pieces that they've made more recently and i absolutely love it i would say i wear this one a lot more than i wear this one i don't know why i think this one feels more modern to me it feels more current so between these two if you're looking for a chunky ring i'd go with the cigar band and then lastly i'm wearing the charlotte hoops I think they were born out of the popularity of the croissant collection. Remember those croissant rings and earrings that everyone had? So this was kind of their part two and these earrings are just one of my absolute favorites. I don't know why, they just look so good on and they always make me feel very French for some reason. I don't think it's even a French style but just being part of the general croissant collection makes me feel like I can wear these in Paris and just really fit in. Next up we have these chunky hoops and then also this layered necklace. I will show you because it's a little hard to see. It has this blue gemstone in the middle which I absolutely love. And what I really like about it is that it actually has this layering built in so you can't get it tangled which is really a big blessing for me because I'm always like untangling my necklaces but it comes together on the chain. So. This one is really nice if you're looking for a dainty piece. And then these chunky hoops are absolutely amazing. I love them. They are kind of my editor hoops 2.0. I wear them from day to night very easily. They are a bit of a chunkier style. So if you're looking for something less heavy, I wouldn't go with these ones, but they're a classic style that you can't go wrong with if you're looking for a bolder earring. I have these very tiny bold hoops, which if you're looking for the bold hoops, I think it could be deceiving online as to how small they are. So they're pretty tiny. They're almost like huggies. The bold hoops are one of my favorite pieces I've ever gotten from a jury. That's because they are such good quality. They're solid gold and I tend to really have them in for a long period of time so when I decide I put them on I won't be taking them off for like a month I can keep them in I can shower with them I can do activities with them and I just know that they're going to be fine and they don't hurt my ears when I sleep they're just this great accessory that adds a nice touch to your look without having to be super high maintenance and you know taking them out every night this is probably going to be funny to some of you but I use this Cuban chain link necklace when I want to have a bit more of an edge to my outfit which I know is not edgy at all. It pairs well with like a street style look if I'm looking to do something a little bit more on the edgy side. I will wear this versus like my herringbone necklace which is this one, one sec in case you forgot. So this one I find to be a little bit more of an elegant look and I'll pair it with like more of a feminine outfit and you can see the difference between the two right here. Call me crazy, but this is my edgy necklace. Okay, sorry, speaking of edgy, I forgot to mention this necklace. This one I think is a little bit out of Majuri's comfort zone. It is super street style, super grunge, edgy, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm kind of loving it. I do have to say, I don't find there's as many occasions to wear a piece like this versus some of the other ones that I've just shown you, but it is like a really fun, different piece. So here's what it looks like. 
This one to me pairs well with a high collared top just so that you can really get the full force of the piece. It also makes it look a bit less heavy. I find that if it's directly on my skin, it looks a lot more intense and bold. But I have to tell you that although it might look super heavy, it's actually very lightweight and you can wear this all day with no problem. The next pieces that I'm wearing are kind of hard to see because they're so dainty and tiny, but they are the white sapphire and gold bracelet and then these earrings that are also white sapphire and gold. So here is the bracelet. I'm also wearing this tiny pearl necklace, which is freshwater pearls and gold vermeil. These are all really great pieces to wear to a fancier occasion. I would say I don't usually wear these earrings on a day-to-day -day basis. I find them to be better for a special occasion. I would say this bracelet doesn't seem to come to mind when I think of getting ready for a day. I just find I wear it more for like a wedding or a birthday or something that's more dressy. I love that it has so many links here that you can make the bracelet smaller just because I have such a small wrist. So for anyone who is looking for a bracelet that fits small wrists and also larger ones because there's so many links, this is a good bracelet to try out. And then this pearl necklace. I love that it incorporates the pearl trend in such a subtle way. It is so hard to tell that there are even pearls on here, but when you do see it, you're like, oh. They're fashionable, they get it. So I love this necklace. It also makes for a great layering piece because it is closer up to the neck so you can wear those longer gold or silver necklaces with it. So speaking of pearls, I have to tell you I have not had a night out in 2022 without these earrings. I have worn them every single time because something about them makes me feel elevated. Sometimes I find that hoops can make you look a bit like less classy, less elegant. I don't know why, it's just a feeling I get. Leave a comment down below if you think I'm wrong. They're fun, but they could sometimes have a little bit less of an elegance to them. And what I really love about these hoops is that they mix like the fun of the hoop with the elegance of the pearl. So these are them. And I'm just absolutely obsessed with them. If you're looking for a fun party earring, these would be my choice for you to get. So my camera just died, but the show must go on. So I'm going to finish this with my phone and a mic. I hope the quality is still okay. So moving on to the next pieces, we have the herringbone chain that I showed you previously in a silver instead of a gold. I like wearing this chain when I feel like wearing a bit of silver. I usually gravitate more towards gold jewelry, so it's nice to have this silver option. I know that it's become a really big metal for 2022, and I just think it's going to increase in popularity again. I know we've had such a big run with gold, so it's only natural that silver takes a little bit of the spotlight back. I think this one's a really nice piece to have as an option if you want to switch up your typical gold look and wear silver instead. I'm also wearing these aquamarine colored little studs. They're so stunning. These ones I don't wear often enough, but I do love them. Okay, so last but not least in this haul, I wanna share two chain link earring styles. And the first one is this one, which I have been obsessed with for a long time. I would say before my pearl earrings became my night out earrings, these were them. They're not too long to look kind of trashy and they're not too short to be like, what is that? They're the perfect chain link length. I wear these when I want to have a bit more of an edgy feel to my wardrobe and have this street style look. I would go for these. If I'm wearing a nice combat boot or some sneakers, I would put these on to kind of, oops. I would put these on to kind of complete the look. And last but not least, we have these big mamas. These guys are a result of a collaboration that Majuri did with Frame. And when I first saw them on the site, I thought, I could never pull these off, like these are too much. Sorry, the light is fully in my eye. They do command a lot of attention, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it's nice to be like, I am the star of the show and everyone look at me and this is what I'm wearing. So if you're ever feeling like you wanna have one of those days, nights where you're like, I'm the center of attention, I'm the queen, then you can rock these. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can do something really cool, which is you take them out and this thing actually comes out. So you can have just a simple hoop. If that's more your style, you can do this. And voila, you have two different earrings in one, the double and the single. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a good idea of some of the pieces you can find at Majuri. And if you wanna shop anything, I do have a discount code. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can shop 10% off everything on the site. I will never forget that first email I got from Majuri that was, don't be nervous. 
Okay, so, ah, uh, the light. Mm. Sunlight break. I'm um, eating Sour Patch Kid. Mm. Okay. No. 